one thing about Armenian Easter traditions that I really wanted to share as I started shooting Easter uh, dishes it was how we dye the Easter eggs in Armenia, how my grandma used to dye those eggs in Armenia. And as much as my children now enjoy dyeing those eggs with these artificial colors, this was the only way we knew uh, how to color, how to dye the eggs. And I had no luck finding this simple thing, but you won't believe it, I was looking for everywhere and Finally, today when I went to shop for my Easter shopping, but to buy some greens, um, there was there was this aisle for green uh, red onions, who were, and someone was cleaning that aisle to make space for new uh, arrivals, as I say. Um, and then I saw the uh, shells laying there, waiting for me. So I grabbed all of them. And today I want to show you show you how we dye those Easter eggs in Armenia. And what we need, of course, you may not be That's able fine. to find this immediately, but during the year you can simply arrange um, on the side it all those blue eggs. eggs. <laughs> okay, this, you would simply remove these shells and save them, the dry ones. And use the onions, of course. And, of course, you will need raw eggs. When kids are dying those eggs, they have, have to be uh, cooked. The ones we do in Armenia, we used to do in Armenia, they don't have to be cooked. So, simple white eggs preferably. And we also need... Okay. <laughs> and we also need, the kids told me to say stockings. Stockings? Stockings. stockings. No, um, uh, leggings? Leggings. Yeah, they told me not to say the word pantyhose. So, I'm not going to say that word, but we need those. And regular thread, uh, preferably a strong one. Uh, uh, scissors. And let me show you. We're gonna place those celery or parsley leaves on our eggs and then dye with onion shells. And they'll turn out burgundy, very rich color. And my grandma used to say the eggs dyed with Onion shells taste even better, they are special and of course they are much healthier than the ones my kids are doing. They don't eat eggs either way. Mm. So, okay, let, let's start making these magic eggs. Simple. We'll get... You're gonna get one of those and try to use a perfect looking leaf. Oh, this one is not perfect. <laughs> so I'll leave that on the side and then I'll choose one. For hot water okay. And because you yeah. want them to stick better on your eggs, just wet a little bit, place on the egg and with your fingers simply adjust and make it look nice and even. And as you do that, you grab that legging, as they say, right Lily? <laughs> okay and then you place it on that leaf just like so and then pull it from the back tight very tight just like that and one more time just with your fingertip make it smooth so the leaves have good marks and Nothing. nice and clean and grab your thread Just like this. And oops, it wasn't that strong. <laughs> okay, and you will simply tie it very, very good. And place it in your. Well, I'm gonna arrange, finish everything, and then I'll show you how we do the rest. I think it was very simple. And of course, we need to cut the additional. Leave a little bit, not too much. Just like that. So I'll continue and finish. Guys, are you done? No, no, where's that crayon? <laughs> what crayon? The white crayon thing. I've been looking for it because I want to write something. Alright, I already arranged everything, 
all arrangements are done. <laughs> Very important. And now we can start cooking our uh, eggs. Well, we're gonna simply, it's easy Whoa. as that. Simply What's place some of those shells on the bottom. Like that. And then a couple of eggs in there. And a little bit of more of those shells. Just like so. And usually when I dye my eggs, I make sure the eggs are room temperature. So when they start cooking, even though I'm gonna use cold water, so when it, they start cooking, um, they don't crack. And of course, I'll put more on the top. And I don't think this is something that needs a recipe, just for you to know like how we do it in Armenia. Okay, dry like that. And cold water just to cover those eggs. And this will cook about 45 to 50 minutes. And as it's done cooking, I'm gonna turn off the heat and pour a little bit vinegar so the color is vibrant. Okay, so we'll see when the eggs are cooked. The eggs have been cooking about 45 minutes and I still want them to cook a little bit more and I'll add just a little bit of um, about more than half a cup of vinegar just to help them to have a little bit more vibrant color because I checked and they're not turning out as vibrant as I was expecting but this is, the, I guess it's the quality of the uh, onion shells so I don't think they are as bright as they supposed to be. So I'll let them cook a little bit more and finish making my gata. This year I came up with a, a traditional gata recipe for my family. I'll be making it every year from now on. Um, it's just a simple Armenian gata that we bake on Easter but mine will be a little bit special for me because I also uh, have those pomegranates, which is a symbol, Armenian symbol of fertility and lots of other things, other meanings. So I'll put my five pomegranates for my five children on that gata and we'll be making it every year on my Easter day. On are, Easter. Sure, are you sure you can remember this? I can remember, yeah, of course. I, I write it down. And if you want me to share the recipe and how I make it, I'll be more than happy. Probably for next year, of course. Okay, we're almost done. I'll see you when our eggs are ready. The eggs cooked about almost an hour and they look very good, to my opinion. I think they turn out just perfect. And simply place them in cold water to cool down remove that stacking or legging from the egg and then you see how perfect this looks and allow them to dry out a little bit and I would also suggest to lightly brush, not brush them, lightly tap them with a napkin or oiled napkin or a towel just to give them a little shine. So that's it, tomorrow is Easter and I would like to say Happy Easter to everyone and as we say in Armenian Christos Haryave Merelots or Nyale Hayutsune Christosi Volorit Sub Zatik Shnor Havor and Shnor Akalem Vor Ditumek Thank you everyone for watching I hope you join me for my next video I hope you like my video, subscribe to my channel and Happy Easter everyone! See you soon.